G'day, Sam Bowie. Um, what's today? I think it's Saturday. It's the 21st of January 2017. It's about 5.30pm. You can see behind me there, getting a bit of shade on the panels late afternoon, but I'm only using three. Where's my thumb? Using these three at the moment. Uh, 21 hours into a test, having a little bit of a look at the difference between what the solar panels produce and what the um, what I'm actually using. So I've been running for 21 hours. I've been using the washing machine, the water pump, laptop, satellite internet. Um, about 1.8 kilowatt hours for of electricity for the 21 hours elapsed. So the solar panels today generated 3.3 uh, .3 kilowatt hours except over 21 hours so from last night about 8 p.m. until now I only used 1.8 kilowatt hours. So there's a difference of 1.5 kilowatt hours. So that's all been taken up with electricity that the inverter is using. So there's inefficiencies there, but as well as being taken up by the uh, resist, internal resistance of the batteries. The batteries, the lead acid batteries, they will always take more power than what they give out. It's a fairly unscientific test. I'm only using my charge controller and my kilowatt meter uh, but it'll give you some idea some idea of the the difference the charging losses that we have that we have to deal with uh, you know I'm aware of it I've sized my PV array appropriately um, you know I don't go stupid about conserving power I leave you know, phone chargers plugged in, things like that. I'll go away for a few hours at a time. I'll leave things running. I'm not trying to conserve electricity. It's just that when I'm here, I don't really have that much need for electricity. So, if I need to run power tools, I can quite easily. Uh, you know, running the washing machine, it's just a matter of doing it during a warmer part of the day. So anyway, I'll show you the test a few clips over the last uh, almost a day and give you a bit of an idea of what's going on with the batteries how well the usage is going um, and through it all I've made some changes to the PV array depending on the needs so rather than say this at the end uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later it is about 8 15 p.m. Friday 20th of January 2017 had a bit of an over, fairly overcast day there was a few patches of strong sun the batteries did get charged today but currently sitting on about 24 and a half volts 24 3 24 4 about to reset the watt meter so there's nine hours 39 minutes and it's used I've used 821 watt hours 0.821 kilowatt hours what I'm going to do now, I'm going to reset, well we don't really need to reset the charge controller. Yep, I'll reset the charge controller. That's off. Reset my watt meter. Current usage 19.3 watts. That's on. That's what's coming out of the inverter. Uh, what is there? LED light. A um, couple of other small things, maybe the computer speakers. The fridge is on, but the compressor's not running. Alright, it's about 9:30 in the morning now. 
can see there, been running for 13 hours, 23 minutes. Current load, 66 watts. Point seven one four kilowatt hours used. Seven hundred and fourteen watt hours. Let's have a look at the charge controller now. So we've got five hundred and five hundred and thirty odd watts coming in. And so far I've generated point five kilowatt hours compared to my usage of 0.7 kilowatt hours. So far I still haven't replaced what I've used. And the batteries are in absorb, so within two hours they will be at float. All right, so 15 hours, 44 minutes, 0.9, roughly 0.93 kilowatt hours. Currently using about 675 watts. That's mainly with the water pump and the washing machine going. We go up to the kid. We're at float, bringing in 770 watts. And so far today, since sun up, 1.6 kilowatt hours produced compared to almost 940 watt hours used from the inverter in the last 15 hours 45 minutes. So it's about 5:30 p.m. Five, yeah, about that. Um, been running this test for just over 21 hours. I've used 1.8 kilowatts from the inverter, and the charge controller has put 3.3 kilowatt hours into the battery bank. So there's a difference of 1.5 kilowatt hours from there to the batteries. The inverter to what I'm actually pulling out of the inverter.